your Doppler 10 forecast. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, we obviously got a lot to get to, so let's get right to it. As the uh, much-advertised uh, Arctic blast is now making its way through the coastal bend and seeing just a little bit of some shower activity, but quite interesting up towards the north already as they're starting to see just a little bit of some snowfall. Still have plenty of moisture coming in off of the Pacific, but we're starting to see some light snow just north of the Marble Falls area around Brady towards San Saba as well. And again, all this activity is moving from west to east just north of the uh, Austin right there, the state capital. I'm moving all the way towards Colleen, getting a little bit of some sleet mixture right around Georgetown as well, going up 35. If you have any travels for this evening that head up towards the north, you may want to delay that until at least tomorrow afternoon because it's going to be pretty brutal up there. Back here in the coastal bend, you can almost see the front right there with the rainfall moving down towards the south, making its way towards the Falfurious area around Rivera as well. And right now just seeing a couple of spotty showers across the coastal bend, which will start to fill in as we head towards the overnight hours. Now I want to go over all the advisories and warnings for you. That way you understand what each of them mean. The winter weather advisory includes almost the entire coastal bend with the exception of Refugio, Nueces, Clayburgh, and Kennedy County. Now what that means for the uh, winter weather advisory is that there will be periods of freezing rain and some sleet as well. I think the best chance of sleet will be towards the inland areas around Live Oak, Jim Wells, and off towards Duval County as well. So again, that's where we could see some periods of some sleet and ice. Now the wind chill advisories, of course, if you've been outside, if you've experienced the front coming in, you've noticed the strong winds, temperatures will continue to dip down, and the combination of the strong winds and cold temperatures will produce wind chills uh, for a few hours going into the middle to lower 20s and possibly some upper teens. Now this is for the entire coastal bend. Now we have several warnings in effect as well. The freeze warnings are in effect for the inland areas. That includes B, Live Oak, Jim Wells, Duval, and also LaSalle and McMullen County. This is where temperatures could reach 32 degrees or below, possibly some upper 20s, especially for LaSalle and McMullen County for at least two hours or more. Now, the winter storm warning, the only winter storm warning in effect for our region here is up towards Refugio, and that goes from 2 o'clock in the morning until noon. Most of these go expire at noon tomorrow and last throughout much of the night. Now, that warning means that there is a significant amount of ice or sleep possible for this evening going until noon tomorrow. And also boaters and mariners gale warnings are in effect until tomorrow morning and small craft advisories as well. So no matter how you look at it, any type of travel for tonight, be very careful even early in the morning. Again, we could see some ice uh, start to form on those overpasses and bridges. So just slow down out there and everything should be A-OK. -okay. But this will be the most important map I'll show you throughout the entire weather cast. As we head towards 2 o'clock in the morning, notice we get a widespread amount of some rainfall for most of the coastal bend. The sleet and ice mixture will remain around the 35 area towards Catula. And as we head towards 430 in the morning, still seeing some relatively light rain here, but we start to get a little bit of some sleet ice mixture around the 59 corridor around George West up towards Three Rivers, Freer, Tilden. And I don't know if you can see this on your television screen just yet, but seeing a little bit of some white up there towards the north around Dilly up towards the uh, Catula region as well. Could see a little bit of some flurry activity, but I don't think it'll make it here into the coastal bend around Corpus Christi. Notice as we head towards 8 in the morning, that freezing line gets a little bit closer. I should say that sleet and uh, freezing rain line moves a little bit closer towards the Alice area up towards the north around Mathis, Orange Grove and uh, around the Beeville region as well. Seeing some possible sleet with Corpus Christi remaining under that shower activity. None of that should freeze for us here, but of course we'll be watching that for you. And then by noontime, everything moves off into the Gulf of Mexico. We start to see a little bit of sunshine out towards the west before everything moves out and away from the region as we head towards your Saturday morning where conditions will start to improve. Now, Again, those wind chills will go into the lower 30s for tonight, some upper 20s. Definitely stay warm, protect those sensitive vegetation, protect your pets as well. We'll look for 32 tonight, cold, damp, and icy, particularly only for the inland regions. Doppler 10 extended forecast, very cold tomorrow, spending almost all day into the 30s right there. And then we start to improve Saturday, even warmer on Sunday as well, ahead of another front that will send us into the freezing point as we head towards Wednesday morning with highs back into the 60s by Thursday afternoon.